All right, you guys, today I am sharing our math 2025 to 2026 school year picks with you all. This is a collaboration hosted by myself and Devine over at Common the Chaos Homeschool. So when you're done with this video, you can check down below in the description bar for the playlist where you can see what all of the wonderful mamas who are joining today's collaboration are gonna be using next year. So to start, I will have a seventh grader. I can't even believe that. And then a third grader and I'll have a preschooler. I'm going to start working in some stuff for my preschooler, but I'm not going to do anything formal, formal with him until he's about six or seven. Um, I just want to delay it a little bit to give him time to to just grow and enjoy being a kid before he's having to be thrust into uh, a world of education. <laughs> so um, to start, let's go over what I'm gonna be using for my third grader. So this year, I used a combination of Master Books and Apologia with her. Um, just because I felt like she needed a little extra reinforcement in some of the math um, that she was learning. And that was such a, a wonderful combination. They both, both of those curriculums really just play off of each other. And a lot of the times they line up very well. And, um, you know, like when Master Books is going over a certain topic, Apologia is usually doing it at the same time or maybe like a week before or a week later. So it's really just a beautiful blend of two curriculums. So we are going to be doing the same thing next year. I'm gonna be using Math 3 from Master Books for her alongside Apologia Math 3. And um, I know that may seem like it's crazy, like, you know, using two curriculums, but they really don't take her that long, I think like the total that it took her this year to complete both of the math curriculums was about 30 minutes in total. It was not anything, you know, too overdone or overwhelming or anything like that for her. And so here's just a quick look inside of Apologio. I really love these. They are quick, straight, to the point assignments without, you know, overwhelming your child or anything like that. They're very colorful. They're fun. There's lots of games in there. And um, I also love that they have reviews and little projects towards the end of every semester or every quarter, I should say. And then same thing with master books. She's getting a lot from these. It's um, very straight to the point. And it's funny because we used Matthew C last year and you guys already know my feelings on Matthew C. <laughs> and so this year when I was like, oh, I don't know if I should use Apologia or if I should use master books. My son had used master books when he was in second and third grade and he really enjoyed it. So then I had this crazy idea of, do you know what, I'm just gonna use both. She needs the extra reinforcement from some of the things that she didn't pick up in, um, in Matthew C. And I'm so incredibly happy with that decision. It was, it was so helpful and I love that she got all of the reinforcements from both books and that she has just learned all of the skills that she learned that she kind of lost during our time with Matthew C. She's going over calendar now, she's going over money, she's going over time, she's going over addition and subtraction, and um, this coming year she's gonna be doing some multiplication too. It's gonna be very interesting to see how she does with that. All right, now what we are going to be using for my seventh grader. So he is really great in math. I feel like he truly thrives in it. And it, he just kind of like picks it up naturally and runs with it. And I love that because I'm the same way when it comes to math. You know, you give me history and I'm not always the greatest with it. But um, I was researching Denison and I really wanted to go with that, but the price is just so hefty. And then I was also thinking like, well, if he starts, because he would have started in pre-algebra. And I know that some of this is basically getting into pre-algebra, but I was like, if he goes into pre-algebra now, he'll be seventh grade, and then he'll be in algebra one for eighth grade, and then um, what, algebra two in ninth grade. And then I'm like, what are we gonna do for 10th, 11th, and 12th? Like, I don't wanna get into like all of these crazy maths, especially if he's not gonna end up majoring in a math related field. So um, then we were, 
what else was I considering? There was one other curriculum that I was considering for math and I was weighing between that one and what we ended up choosing and I cannot for the life of me remember what the name of that curriculum was. Um, but I had him look at that one and I had him um, look at master books. And we used master books, like I mentioned, for him in second and third grade. And then I started getting a little bored towards the end of third grade. And I was like, let's switch it up. And I wish I'd never done that. I wish I would have just stayed with master books. They're a wonderful company. They are solid. They are um, straight to the point. They're, there's not a lot of fluff. So he was asking if we could go back to master books for this grade. And I we thought that was a wonderful idea. So we are going to be using Principles of Mathematics, their book one. And we're gonna see how he, he likes it, how he grows in it. I don't think that, yeah, there you go. My, my camera didn't adjust right. Um, I will be doing a full review and flip through on all of these except for Math 3. I already have a review, review and flip through of this one. I'll go ahead and link it down below or I'll try to attach it up here somewhere in case you guys want to see inside it if you're not familiar with it and if you're looking for a third grade curriculum. And then sometime over the summer, I will have a review of Apologia Math 3 as well as the Principles of Mathematics from Master Books. I'm really hoping he does as well with this one as he did in Master Books previous math curriculums. Uh, it seems like a great curriculum. And I think that is basically it for my preschooler. I'm not like I said, I'm not going to do anything formal. I'm really just going to focus on teaching him how to count. Um, right now he does really well to about 12. <laughs> so we're just going to keep working up from there. Um, hopefully by the end of the year, he'll be somewhere between 50 and 100. I'm sure he'll be able to get to 100, no problem. And then uh, just some number recognition. So I'll be using a lot of flashcards with him. So there's not really much to show for my preschooler in that aspect. Um, we will have more collaborations coming up on uh, what we will all be using for language arts, what we're going to be using for our family curriculum picks, like our group subjects, and then what we will be using for extracurriculars. So make sure that you're checking back every week to see what we are going to all be using for those. And again, I will have this playlist linked down below in the description bar in case you want to go and see what everybody else is using for math. I cannot wait to just go and get fully immersed in what everybody is using, see what new curriculums I might find along the way, just in case, you know, maybe we want to switch it up again next year. I feel like we're always switching, but hopefully we won't. Hopefully we'll be very happy because Masterbooks continues math throughout high school. And I love that because they are affordable and I would, I just, I don't want to switch anymore. <laughs> So uh, that is everything that we're going to be using. Let me know down below what you are going to be using for your kids for math next year. I would love to hear it. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button and I will see you again later. Bye.